This got to be hands down the most cloud chasing I've ever seen happen at a basketball game. One thing about it, LeBron James is going to recognize me at a game every single time. Come to this game with me and see if I'm tripping. But here's my outfit I'm putting together and it came out bomb. Moment of silence for the pieces, moment of silence for the accessories. But can I get a round of applause for the body? <laughs> but y'all, my hotel was right across from the stadium. So we just walked over there. And y'all, my seat was right next to where he sits on the bench. But I don't think he noticed me right here because I have my glasses on. So I took them off. And y'all, look, am I tripping? Am I tripping? I don't know, y'all. Maybe I'm tripping. But he did it again a little bit later. But like, look how close we were together. Like, look how close I was sitting next to the LeBron James. <laughs> so I'm just watching the game. He is killing it. I think he put up like 40 points. He balled out. But look right here. Y'all, look. Did he not just stare in my eyes? Mind y'all, this is not the first time she did this. When TikTok found him, but he's married with kids. This is a sickness of the highest order. And the weirdest thing about this though, she tried to play it off like she was trolling in the comments like, oh, every time y'all do this, I get $13,000. Ma'am, it don't excuse you for being weird. You were over here sitting courtside recording this man playing in the game. Like, it's making you look like a stalker. And if anything, it's going to make LeBron hopefully one day ban your ass from every arena that he plays in or to the very least bring Mrs. James along to sit in your seat every week. That way he'll make sure you see up there in the rafters with everybody else. Like, I get it, you're thirsty for clout and you want to do the, the next level thing that's going to get the attention, get people talking. But this is the worst way to do it. Like, I hate that we are in such a clout chasing world. People trying to really put themselves in an awkward predicament because let's say the next TikTok comes and Savannah is like pressing you about the shit. You ain't going to say, oh, ma'am, I was just trolling. I didn't mean nothing. No, fuck all that. She going to feel like you impeding on her lawn you step on the grass don't get mad when she tries to run you off you coming off as one big old home record doing this this shit gotta be the cringiest thing i've ever seen in my life on tiktok and it's clear as day that she's one of them assassins and snipers that just does not care about the man's relationship this is if i want him i could have him type shit uh no okay like if anything lebron has a brand to protect and we know how the internet is. They're going to make up all types of think pieces and conspiracy theories. Oh, did LeBron fly this girl out? She's been in every game for a whole year or since he's been like, I don't fucking know. But you get the point. If I'm LeBron, I'm trying to make sure you're never at my games because you're going to create, you're going to have people create a narrative and you, you're just going to, and you're just going to sit there saying, oh, I was trolling. It was nothing that big of a deal. But when she gets real, you're going to be trying to play the victim. And in her mind, she probably looking at this like, oh, I don't really mean it. I don't really try to come off like a homeworker, but it, it looks weird because I guarantee you if this was Angel Reese and a man was at her games, her corner, sitting courtside, everybody in their mom will be sitting there saying, oh my God, why is this dude being a creep? Why is this dude being a weirdo? Like it's giving very stalkerish. Somebody should, should ban him. Some Like he wouldn't have a job like, let's just be honest. He would be fired from his job. He would be banned courtside, okay? He probably would be arrested if we want to go extreme. But with that being said, y'all, let me know what you think about this wild story in the comments. Till next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.